So you could say I've owned a lot of camera bags and I've got some of them here. Sheila's gonna pass them to me. Thank you, love. Started off with the small low pro camera gear goes in the back. Pretty good bag, but I need the bigger one. So I got the larger one. Oops, the larger one's here. This is the larger one. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we should go somewhere a little bit quieter, where we can now. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong. I've managed to get away from the flying bags. And of course, we had fun making that intro. And the only thing that woman throws at me is love and affection. But you all knew that anyway. So. We're here in the local woods, very close to where I live actually, and I'm really glad that I've got these areas and I found a few new ones during the lockdown. And hopefully we will all be allowed out very soon. I think that is going to be happening, thankfully. So today's vlog is all about my new backpack and it's especially designed for hikers and able to carry your camera gear safely. So as I was trying to say at the beginning of this vlog, I have owned quite a lot of backpacks still own a lot you saw them all hitting my head <laughs> since i started the hiking and the wild camping my backpack um, demands have changed and i've realized that i need a backpack that is suitable for all my hiking gear and to carry my camera gear safely. My Osprey backpack, which is absolutely fantastic, doesn't have any compartments for camera gear. And it hasn't even really been considered in the design of that bag, obviously. It's just for hiking. So when you put your camera gear in, it's either gonna be all at the top or all at the bottom and you can't access it, you can't get to it separately. So it's quite frustrating when you end up out hiking with that bag and your camera gear. So I'm gonna try and find somewhere a little bit more comfortable and a place that I can take the backpack off and show it to you and uh, see what you think of it. So let me just show you, I've got the backpack on now. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of it, obviously. But just while I'm stood here, the, uh, the straps on it are really comfortable and it's got, uh, it's got a, a strap here that keeps it nice and comfortable on your back when it's really heavy. So I just thought I'd show you that while I've got it on my back. So let's try and find somewhere where I can sit down and uh, show you this bag a little bit better. So I have found somewhere pretty neat to uh, stop just by this little wall and there is a bit of water running so you might hear a bit of trickling. So. Uh, I'm going to show you this bag and it's not an in-depth review of the bag, it's just my feelings on it. I haven't really had a chance to get out properly because we're in lockdown and I'm looking forward to getting out properly with this bag. So just my uh, feelings on it, on these short hikes that I've done. Uh, so let's get to it. So the bag is the, it's the Atlas, nearly forgot what it was called then. <laughs> So the bag is the Atlas Athlete. And as I say, it's specially designed for hiking and carrying your camera gear. And on the outside of it, there are about seven pockets. So you're not hurting for pockets and space to just stick things and organize your equipment on the outside of the bag. So we've got a pocket here, nice little stretchy pocket there. Another big stretchy pocket here. And I've got my mat that I sit on just in there. But it's a really big pocket, that, at the front. And we've got another little pocket here with an anchor point for your keys. I shall just show you that there. Anchor point for your keys in that pocket. Just a small pocket mobile phone in there if you want. And then we've got a bigger, really big pocket. Sort of the brain, if you like. Big pocket there. Huge, huge pocket there to keep... Uh, other stuff in. I haven't got this bag fully packed at all. It's just got basically my camera gear in it um, and a couple of coats. Uh, where's the other pockets? Uh, I did say they're about seven. So yes, we've got a massive stretchy water pocket there. What, I say water pocket because I've got my water in it. Put anything you want in it, but a big stretchy uh, pocket there. You could actually fit two water bottles in, no problem. At the other side, the same thing, stretchy pocket there, really big. The difference on this side is there's a zip here and you can actually put a water bladder in there if you want to. I haven't done that. And there's a place for the, uh, for it, for the spout to come out. But uh, it's also been designed with the thought of a tripod. So you can stick the leg of a tripod in there and uh, the other two down the outside here. And these cinches um, will cinch the uh, tripod to the bag so it's not flapping around. And talking about the cinches, they're really good because this bag, when not fully packed as it is now, it's quite slim. You can just see the profile of it there. It's pretty slim and you can cinch it up using these cinches at the side so that uh, it looks really neat. So that's 
really good cinches at both sides so it's a uh, it's as big as, as you want it to be. It's a 40 litre bag, so there's plenty of space. But when you haven't got it fully packed, like I say, you can actually cinch it up and it's pretty small. It does have a, a waistband that comes with it to take the weight off your shoulders a little bit more, but I don't use it, but it's, it's a brilliant waistband. I have tried it and I think it would be great if you, if you needed that. I don't really need it. And uh, I've stored away these pockets at the side. They attach to the waistband and they've got a pocket there. So while we're looking at the back, it's got a nice logo on the back. And Atlas have thought about the breathability. There is, the, it, it is really breathable on the back. There's a lot of air can get in here. They've designed it that way. It's not as good as an Osprey backpack, nowhere near. But uh, it is better than most of this kind of design. So there is a little bit of air gets in. Uh, so you don't sweat too much but uh, it's not as good as the like the Osprey bags. Now I showed you earlier the straps, they're really comfortable and they've got this piece that joins together to keep it on your shoulders. There's a little whistle on there. And does it work? Let's have a look at the whistle. Does it work? Yeah, not really. I wouldn't want to be relying on that if I was stuck on the hills. But uh, yeah, nice, comfortable, adjustable, completely adjustable to your torso, these uh, straps. There's a little handle on top, which is really strong for just picking it up. So that's really handy. And on the outside of the bag, there's lots of different places for lashing gear to the bag. So you could actually really stack this bag up with stuff on the outside. So you could really go on a long hiking trip and maybe get a tent lashed to this bag and you'd be fine. Now underneath there is a little zip pocket that has the waterproof cover. I'm not going to get it out, but that covers the whole bag and keeps it completely waterproof. That is really handy and a lot of bags miss that out. Uh, in fact, my Osprey bag doesn't have that. I've got to buy the cover separate. So that's really handy to know that that's there. I used to think that they were a bit of a gimmick, but I've been out in the really bad weather and found that, uh, yeah, you would definitely want to cover your bag to protect your camera gear. Now, talking about the camera gear, let's just get to this separate part that holds your camera gear. So it's, it's held in this section here on the back, so it's all safe. And if you zip it all the way down, it opens fully up like that, and you've got a completely separate compartment for your camera gear now none of this is removable this is fixed into the bag and that's a really good thing because i can tell you you could throw this bag around and your camera gear would be completely safe now my camera obviously goes there the g9 so if you know the size of that sort of camera it's uh, kind of like a a biggish mirrorless camera that goes in there including the 8 to 18 lens that stays on there the 8 to 18 lens you do have space here for an, another lens if you wanted i've got my road video micro in there and uh, lots of space for other things microphones batteries and uh, i've got a little tripod there and some cables so lots of space there and these separators, these cushion separators, really mould to the shape of whatever you put in there. Um, I did see a review, a more in-depth review, that really sold this to me, and I'll leave a link to that vlog in the description below. So check out that if you want to see a little bit more. And that's the one that really sold it to me. And uh, she said in her uh, review that these really moulded to the gear that you put in and they really do, she was absolutely right. Now this part here is a bit of an origami section. So if you wanted, you can make, you can make this section bigger, but it obviously makes, it makes the section inside the hiking section of the bag, if you follow, a little bit smaller. I don't need it, but it's called a bit of an origami section. You can see I can pull that, and then inside there is in the back of there is actually a bigger space obviously and you can get to that space in where you carry your coats and sandwiches you can actually get that into that from here i'm not sure why they put that in but it's pretty handy <laughs> maybe that's why they did it there's a stretchy compartment here you can hold other stuff there and uh, maybe some maps or paperwork something like that cables uh, some shallow zipping compartments here and i've got some sd cards in there 
and you could probably put some batteries in there if you had a smaller camera. My batteries are a bit bulky in there. And the more you fill this section, obviously that's going to be closing down onto there and that will um, affect that area. So I try not to put too much in there. And if I did, it'd be really low profile. So that is about it. It zips up really easy. All the zips are really high quality. And uh, that is about it. I did say that I wasn't going to go into depth. Now, one thing that I must say about this bag is that it's very expensive. It cost me just short of 400 quid, 395 quid. And uh, I got a shock when it came into this country. I couldn't get it anywhere and I really wanted it. Uh, and I'm really happy with it. I've got to say, I'm really happy with the bag. Not really happy with the price, 395 quid and I had to pay the import fees, which really caught me out, and it worked out about 90 pounds. I chose the free FedEx shipping, and I thought that was it. I thought it was just free. It came very quick, and the Atlas customer support is amazing. So uh, I'll leave a link to their site where you can actually go and purchase this bag, but be aware of the import charge. Off a 395 pound bag, I paid 90 pounds to get it into this country. And that was a bit of a shock, I've got to say. So beware of that. But apart from that, so far this bag really is ticking all the boxes. So that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog looking at the Atlas Athlete backpack. Perfect for your camera gear and for hiking. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like. And of course, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I upload a vlog every week. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Another? Oh, yeah. And another? Right. I just... It's too, it's too slow. <laughs> just throw one. You just haven't got the you haven't got the, the venom, have you? No.